This video is sponsored by EA. Thank you, EA, for this opportunity to show everyone the newest expansion pack on Sims 4. And if any of you are interested in a giveaway for this newest expansion pack, wait until the end of the video and I will be giving details then. So I've only played this expansion pack once when I first got it and I'm just going to be doing a little playthrough with it and I'm pretty excited about this one because I have a little storyline set up and I'm going to be telling you guys about it as I make the characters. So we're actually going to have three characters. We're going to have a mom, a daughter, and a horse. It'll make sense in a second. Oh, she's sounds Southern. So the mom is going to be a former city girl. People who grow up in a city a lot of times don't really know a lot about ranching. Understandably, I mean, they grew up in the city. Something happened where she just, she's like, you know what? I need something new. I need to move somewhere. I can't hear any cars passing. I can't hear ambulances at 3 a.m. I need a ranch and I want to learn how to take care of the animals. And I want my daughter to grow up in an environment where she can do whatever she puts her mind to, including becoming a horse rider, a sheep person, I don't know what to call them, a goat lover, nectar maker, anything, you know, that she wants to do. So this character, she's going to be very independent, so I'm gonna try and make her character look like that. I love the hair options, but I don't think this fits her. This is the only, like, longer hair option other than this one, so I think I'm gonna go with this one. Does this one have, like, a little, oh, I thought it had, like, a little bun on the back. I think I'm just gonna go with this one. I'm gonna do some light details to her face. I didn't want to go too far off of the randomize uh, character option because I didn't really have an exact appearance in mind for the mom. So for all of these, I'm just going to be using the random option. All right, so we have quite a few things for the full body options. This is cute. Oh my god, I love the romper. Love the romper so much. How many color options do we have? Oh, we have a lot of color options. Oh, I love the cow print on the little belt. This looks like a total rancher mom out, but I love it. Oh, this one's cute too. Okay, I think I'm gonna do this dress for like daily. Oh, that's a cute, that's a cute color. I like that shade. All right, so for boots, we only have four different options and I'm gonna go with some good old cowgirl boots. I feel like white would look best with this dress. Saying yes to the dress right here. It's gonna be a very simple outfit, but I do want accessories. Okay, we have gloves. Some good old ranching gloves. They look like they're a little bit used too, which is cool because it looks like you've been doing some hard work at the ranch. We have two different earrings. Um, this one's a cute little horseshoe. I think I'm gonna go with that one. And it matches the dress, so that's good. Do we have any necklaces? We have one necklace and two different bandana handkerchief tie things i don't know what to call them i think i'm just gonna <laughs> leave without a necklace i really wish that there were more accessories for the expansion pack because i really do love when expansion packs have a lot of accessories for like the expansion pack topic which of course this one would be ranching and horse riding i'm gonna edit the hot weather because i want to see what we have for the top and bottoms because i've only seen the full body and what if i like take away the feminine part even better so for hot weather i'm thinking something like this very flowy has a lot of room to breathe this is also good this would be a good sleep top Ooh, this would be a good bathing suit too all right and for pants we have a lot of different pants i also took away the feminine option for this one just in case we have more selection um i do love these pants but i also kind of want ooh. These are so cute because of the flares. I'm definitely going to be using those for the winter outfit. But I'm going to go ahead for the shorts with this outfit. All right, and then for cold weather, I'm kind of excited for the cold weather because I saw this in one of the videos before I downloaded the game, before I downloaded the expansion pack. Oh my god, I was obsessed with this one in one of the spoiler photos or like the videos that I saw. I'm not sure if it was a live stream, but this one looks so good, especially with how detailed it is around the stomach and like the chest area. Usually you see a lot of like baggy type clothing on Sims, but this one's like tight to the body and I love that. Plus paired with some good old flares would make the look pop. So I'm thinking now if she's gonna be doing some horse riding, um, I'm going to maybe make her have a different outfit. <laughs> 
I'm thinking now if I make her do horse riding, it's probably not going to be the most comfortable in a dress. Oh, I love that one, how it has gloves coming out of the pocket. I think that's the masculine version, but I love that. Look at this vest with the long sleeves. That would be so cute. Okay, we're going to have that be the look for the everyday, and then I'm going to change this top to the furry vest and long sleeve because I love the look of that. The bun look is very cute. So now that we made the mom, we're going to name her really quick. I don't have a name idea. All I know is the last name was going to be Reed. Kennedy sounds cute. Kennedy with an I. That's a very sweet name. I'm going to make her aspirations to be an expert nectar maker. She's going to be the best nectar maker in the area, confirmed. So now that we made the mom, we have to make the daughter. You are not the daughter. <laughs> All right, so here's Kennedy's daughter. We're gonna begin to edit her. So Kennedy's daughter, like I said, she's still kind of new to the ranch life, just like Kennedy. She grew up in the city, just like Kennedy. And since Kennedy is basically like brand new to ranching, naturally so is her daughter. So we're gonna try and make her daughter like as decked out in sort of like ranchy lifestyle as we can. Her daughter's going to be the one who loves horses and wants to, you know, own a big horse ranch. So I think everyone's dream when they were a kid was to like own a pony i remember when i was a kid and i would tell my parents like i want a pony so bad buy me a pony i'm so glad they didn't though because ponies are so expensive i love this top but i don't know if it would look good with everyday use i'm just gonna go ahead and put jeans and then we have the good old cowgirl boots i'm gonna make them brown there we go let's change up her hair a little bit she has the cute braid but we're gonna try and use one of these I don't know if the short hairstyle fits her, but we have this hairstyle, this one, that one. I really wish there were some long hairstyles for the kids, but I really did like how the braid looked on her. And we also have a riding hat and a cowgirl hat, so I'm going to go ahead and give her a cute little hat to go with the rest of her outfit. I'm thinking brown is the best. It kind of matches her boots, too. Imagine if they had the cutest little matching hats. That would be so cute. Oh my gosh, mother and daughter goals, honestly. All right, so just like her mom, Sadie kind of wants to embrace the ranch life. And Sadie's biggest dream, like I just mentioned before, is owning a giant horse ranch. But since Kennedy is a little bit cautious of owning new animals, especially because, like I said, she grew up in the city life, she wants to embrace it slowly. She kind of wants to start off with multiple animals and just kind of like take it day by day. So after this, we're going to be making Kennedy's horse double. And then we're going to add cowgirl boots to it too you know the ranch rule you can't wear flip-flops or anything when you're around animals or horses unless you want your foot squished speaking from experience it's not a very fun thing to have happen <laughs> all right cold weather hello okay i don't know what that was but <laughs> there are pants i'm sorry i thought that there weren't pants this entire time i go back here then and change her pants i do like these jeans these are really, like, low on the hips, though. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> She's so cute. I love her look because it's more of, like, a tomboyish look, and I love that about her. Okay. <laughs> then when she grows into a teen, I can sort of make her, um, you know, aspiration to be an equestrian champion or whatever it's called. Hold on. Let me look at what we have. We have the expert nectar maker. And then we have the championship rider. So there's two different aspirations for this expansion pack. So you'll see some of the tops and outfits and designs and everything and even patterns brought some of the indigenous cultures into the game. So I'm kind of excited to see that with the expansion pack. There's also some that you'll see in build mode as well. I'm going to try and put Kennedy's personality and everything and her aura or whatever onto a horse. Um... Ooh, look at these breeds. Okay, so we have Michael Tech, American Paint Horse, American Quarter Horse. There are a lot of breeds here. I either want that or a really fancy breed because, you know, former city girl. It's giving spirit. <gasps> Open breed mixer. I want to mix two breeds together. Okay, so I'm kind of stuck and I want the Cobb, the American Quarter Horse because that's kind of what I'm stuck in between. Ow, just hit my headset. Really love the coat color, but I kind of want a little bit of like fading on the black into the white. So a little bit of like gray hair type thing. I'll show you guys just in a second. 
Okay, well, that's not what I wanted to do. I was a little bit too confident in how good I'd be at this. It doesn't look too bad. I just wanted a cute little, like, unique part of it. I'm gonna make a little heart on her butt. <laughs> there we go. Isn't that cute? It's like a little cutie mark. <laughs> oh, does she have some on her nose? How did I get it there? All right, you know, it makes her unique. <laughs> the sparkles on the back. It's so cute. Oh, this one's so cute too. Oh my god. I need to stop looking at these or I'm gonna be tempted to change the horse's color, but this one kind of fits. I don't know if this is meant to be like the button braids, but they're really loose. So I don't see any other like button braids or like the smaller tucked braids. So I think that's what we have. Roached mane. This is good for like breeds like the Akaltex. This one is the wrapped tail. And I can either do the braided or the long and like curly one. I really love this one. Kind of goes with the whole look. And then coat thickness. Ooh, this is cool. That's actually so cute. I think I'm going to keep it as a short coat. But that is cool that we have the options. Can you make like different colored feathers? Oh, I'm tempted. I shouldn't. But I'm tempted. <laughs> See, it's a little confusing to me because the forelock kind of has like a braid. And it looks like the forelock would go into like a tighter braid. But there's no braid option on the actual mane. I really like this tack set. It's very cute. Oh my gosh, she's a vocal. What would she look like as a foal? Oh my gosh, she would look so cute as a baby. Okay, I'm bringing her back up. Oh wait, it like reset it. Oopsies, we don't want that. <laughs> I just wanted to see what she would look like as a baby. Oh, look at the little cowboy hat. That's so cute. It's gonna go for a little tail decoration. Either the rose one or the tail bow. We have like a pink one. We really don't. Do we have a pink bow? Okay, we have a pink bow. But it doesn't match the other pink at all. Oh, that bothers me. I think I'm just gonna go white for the bow. Because I do want a tail decoration. Anyways, now that we have created what I personally think would be Kennedy's double as a horse i'm going to name the mare hush puppy i love hush puppies they're so good i think i'm gonna name her june bug that's such a cute name little june bug so we have aggressive brave defined energetic fearful free spirit friendly independent intelligent mellow and needy i don't really want to give her any bad traits to start off with because i feel like the bad traits we can say for the rescue horses free spirit brave friendly all right, I think we are all good to go for the Reed family. So I uploaded the household to the gallery. So if you guys maybe want to also play this household, it is up on my gallery. It is just my tag, just Peachy Plays, but with two S's. And you guys can start the household just as I'm doing now and make your own little Sims 4 gameplay. This community formed when several groups embraced their mutual connection to horses and the land. The area soon became known as the hub for all things equestrian, a town steeped in expertise with raising and training horses, set against a beautiful and expansive landscape. Over time, the area became famous for another endeavor, as the rich soil brought in the new enterprise of nectar making. Thanks to the hard work of everyone involved, the region flourished and became the chestnut ridge it is today. So according to a lot of videos I've watched and also just the general explanation of the expansion pack, this is an open world, which means you can travel pretty much like everywhere in here. I always kind of wanted like an open world type gameplay with each area because I didn't like traveling from place to place with the menu. Palomino Junction, the Cozy Corner House, Red Roan Field, or the Cantor Cottage. I'm not very good at building Sims 4 houses, but I don't know if I could maybe take something from the gallery. I think that would be cool to put on the, the field. So what I'm going to do for this start of the playthrough is I'm going to give them some extra money. I'm just going to be doing the mother load code twice to give them 100,000 because I don't want them to have to worry about spending money if they're going to be like getting a new house and everything. I put a lot down in here. I'm just going to go ahead and delete some extra things. So I want to explore some of the barn. I was kind of excited for like an equestrian area and there's plenty of stalls in this. I also want to explore the other lots offered. There's not a lot of spots on this land right here for anything horses, but it is a pretty cute barn house home. It kind of looks like a barn and the back shed also kind of has like a barn look to it. I love that. I was tempted to get this one when I first started looking at the homes, but honestly, there isn't a ton of space and I want them to have a good bit of space for the animals, but this one's really cozy looking. This is the Brand Bear Ranch sign. 
Oh, this is so cute. I love the little horse design on it. I want to explore the house a little bit. So the house layout is actually a very unique layout. I love looking through the gallery because I love finding like unique new layouts. Um, this one is with no CC or mods. So this is just with the base game plus the horse ranch expansion pack. So this is actually the perfect layout for the house because there's only one bed for the daughter, Sadie, and then there's one room up here for the mother, Kennedy. And there's also room for expansion in the home. Those are a lot of chairs. I'm gonna like, I'm gonna take one or two chairs away from this table because that's, that's a lot of chairs. <laughs> I wanna put down a rootin' tootin' boot scootin' dance floor. I cannot believe I said that so fast. For later use, if any of their friends come over and they can do a little, you know, line dance and rootin' tootin' dance party. I'm gonna do a jump in some barrels, you know, they can train in different things. And then I also want some nectar maker stuff. She can make some nectar in the shade so she's not in the sun constantly. And I also want a nectar rack. There we go. Boom. Some nectar racks for her to store stuff in. And then tall grass would also be really cute all around. Another water trough by the tree under the shade. You know, you can never have too many water sources. Country classic barn dollhouse. <gasps> That's so cute. Maybe um, Sadie can have that to play with from time to time. Rustic fire pit. Oh my gosh, can we have like a little fire pit in the back? Ooh, I don't think this is fit for the place, but the statue is really cool. That would be really cool for like a championship center or whatever for horses. That gives me some ideas. So yeah, this is the moment I kind of wish that I could build on Sims 4. There's so many cute like little decos for houses and like all the different door designs. My gosh, I'm tempted to learn how now. That's for a whole another video though. Grill on the porch. Never mind, not on the porch because it can't fit. <laughs> I'm gonna give them a grill to cook some yummy food with. 63 twilight notes resonator guitar and we can put a guitar out here so they can play little like yeehaw tunes you know the hoof cleaning animation looks really realistic i love that the little leopard markings on her face was so funny i'm sorry i misclicked it adds to the personality you know the little like gray grain that i added to the very edge of the markings they kind of do look like shine Junebug's new skill and temperament will begin to help her successfully socialize with sims and other horses. What I'm going to do is I'm going to disable the need decay for now because I don't want to have to pay attention to these sims needs while I'm exploring this pack. Oh, I came back at the wrong time. Right, that was a little rude. Let's see. Bucked off of horse. Yeah, I would be uncomfortable too. Let's ask for her cooperation. Oh, she's just gonna dance it out, I guess. <laughs> okay, so she agreed. Maybe this time she won't be bucked off. Go for a relaxed ride. Since it is her first ride, we're gonna take it nice and easy. She doesn't look too bad for like a first ride. Posture's a little off. No, she doesn't dislike riding. Maybe after that buck she might. <laughs> Their tech and outfits match so i think it's meant to be see now the tail decoration is different so i think the tail bow being yellow was just something that i forgot to change we have the welcoming party all right maybe let's bring maybe let's bring her home the way that she's going is so funny oh she looks terrified why does she look so scared oh look at her legs out too i want to see this moving oh she looks like she's having an amazing time. Howdy introduction. We can invite the neighbors in. We have Marissa Tracy and Roberto Crinkletop. That is a name. What does he have in his hands? I have no idea what that is. I'm not going to lie. Wait, why are you guys disagreeing? What are you talking about? Are you telling me you have beef with a kid right now? Cowpoke dance together. Wait, this is my dream. Let's do some boot scooting and boogieing together. Oh my gosh, look at her moves. Oh my gosh. Mama Kennedy got some moves on her. It looks like they're having a little dance battle. They are having a dance battle. I think Kennedy is finally realizing that ranching is a little bit more fun when you're not by yourself. So she has her daughter, but maybe, just maybe we can 
you know, have a cowboy enter the picture. I guess she's gonna have to figure out if that's what she wants or does she wanna like remain independent, you know? She's still grooving. Oh my, oh my gosh. Buy mini goats and mini sheep, oh my God. Okay, all right. I want the Dalmatian mini sheep. I want one of each because I feel like more than one is too much to handle. That kind of scared me. Let's see the babies. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, that's so cute. Oh, we have some new people joining the party. Who is this? Juniper Grove. Oh my gosh, Juniper Grove is gorgeous. Is Juniper Grove single? Oh my god, I'm sorry. Let's see. Chores. Socialize. We're gonna be making a little rancher out of her. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, that's so adorable. She's lifting that with no problem whatsoever. She's strong. We're gonna go over to the equestrian center. I think that's what it's called. I guess we'll find out. So what I wanna do is purchase a horse for Sadie to learn on and also rescue a horse so that Sadie and Kennedy can both kind of get a feel for like rescue horses and how to rehabilitate them and just, you know, work with them because not all rescue horses are perfect. I'm sure they've kind of made that in the game as well. So what I do know is that this is a rabbit hole, which means when they go inside there, you can't go with them. Horse training. Enter competition, rescue horse, and purchase horse. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rescue a horse and then purchase a horse. We have a lip is on her full, a filly, and a Sally Frances colt. Um, I'm thinking we could go with Admiral. Hurricane is a Galanier's Cobbs. That's actually what I have mixed with an American Quarter horse for Kennedy's horse. I think I'm gonna go with Pi. I think Pi would be fit for Sadie. And then we also have to sort of raise a foal, you know? I also kind of wanted a stallion so I could breed the two, um, Junebug and Pi. Oh, look at the two. <gasps> They're so cute. Oh my gosh, look at the full run. Look at those long legs. Oh my god, the full is so cute. He is gorgeous. Look at you guys already bonding. Oh, that's so cute. Now, realistically speaking, I don't know if putting a child on a stallion who is not like provingly calm is a good idea, but this isn't realistic. It's okay. It's Sims. <laughs> it's a video game. This horse won't throw off the girl, right? <laughs> this is either going to go really well or this child is going to be thrown. Aww, the horse laid down. Oh, she's got it. Yeah, just like her mama. She looks like she's a little bit scared out of her mind. So as their riding level goes up, I'm sure they'll both start looking a little bit more natural in the saddle. But, you know, two city girls coming from the city, of course, they're going to look a little bit terrified in the saddle. Oh, is the, f is the full nursing from Junebug? I didn't even know that the foals could nurse from the mares if they weren't pregnant. Do mares produce milk unless they're pregnant? That's, that's interesting. So if you put this in your inventory, I believe it'll give you manure. Yeah, normal quality. Dependent on their mood. So if they're happy, it's normal. And if they're like really happy, I believe it's excellent or like top quality. Where are you going? Why are you freaking out? Why are you spooked? That's so cute. Look at the little tail. How about we maybe head home? You guys have been out for a while. <laughs> where are the mini goats and mini sheep? Lore, where'd you guys go? They couldn't have gone far, right? Can they leave your property? <gasps> oh my gosh. That is so cute. <laughs> oh my god. They're just casually house sheep and goats now. Aww. Wait, let me turn the lights off for them. I didn't know they could go into your house. You know what? They can do what they want. They're like dogs. It's like I adopted two dogs. We're gonna have you hop off of your new horse. Encourage to breed with Junebug. I'm kind of curious if they do it right away or if you they need like a little bit of encouragement, you know? <gasps> Oh my god, that's so cute! I guess we'll know soon if she's pregnant, unless it tells you immediately, but I feel like it would tell me in the little notification thing. Okay, so I don't think the children can do any of the stable care. I think it's only the mom. A terrific trot. There's nothing quite like an equestrian excursion. Aw, oh, so true. They're having a cute little campfire together. Oh, you burn your arm. That's kind of sad. 
What demons is she fighting? Junebug is expecting. There are going to be some new little hooves prancing around the household sometime soon. Wait, where is she? Where's the mama? <gasps> she already even has a belly. Oh, you can see that she's expecting because look at how low her belly is. Oh my gosh, look at how cute he is when he sleeps. It's so adorable. So now it's time to start making some nectar. I'm kind of excited for this. We're gonna purchase basic ingredients. So I'm gonna do some apple nectar. You need three apples to craft nectar. So I'm gonna have to buy one more if I wanna craft another one. Okay, girlfriend, you can stop playing guitar now. I don't like that noise. I don't like that noise at all. Oh, oh my God are not old enough to train with it. Oh, I didn't know they couldn't train with obstacles. Okay, so maybe she just takes it easy until she's a teen, you know, until she's old enough. I was really hoping that children could work with some of this stuff because I remember like that was my favorite thing when I was a kid was going over little obstacles or like going around barrels. Let's pour a serving. Don't, don't just leave your trash on the ground. I love how there's just horse manure halfway into the house. Yes, this is the ranch life. We'll worry about that later. Have a little sip. Mm, because I opened it, I can't store it, but if you store it in the rack, it'll become more fermented. Did she just come into the house? Hello? Maybe let's like not do that. Let's lock for all horses because what was that? She just strolled in like she's been there before. All right. Um, next thing I wanna make is potato nectar. Ooh. Kennedy has insufficient skills. I want nectar now that I'm like making it on Sims. <laughs> do 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 do. All right, girlfriend, let's try this once again. Make 100,000 selling nectar. Oh my gosh. Make 50 excellent bottles of nectar and achieve level five nectar making skill. She's got a while before she fills this out this aspiration, but like she's starting on it. I want to see her slowly improve with her skill. Can she fix the horse jumps while on the horse? Oh, okay. She just has superpowers. That's crazy. I kind of wish we had like a more open training area because like this back and forth of training, usually you'd have like a course and they would train on the course, you know? She's gone quite a few times and she hasn't, she's only refused once. She hasn't knocked it yet. Probably just jinxed it by saying that. Nope, I didn't. Oh my gosh, look at the little tail shake. I'm confused on why we need to bottle feed them if they're young adults. Why are we bottle feeding the grown mini goats and mini sheep? Banana. <laughs> I'm so funny. That was so bad. I already know people are <laughs> Ah, beautiful. <laughs> Let's check on Junebug. How is Junebug doing? Ooh, her belly's getting big. Got a big belly. She is happy though. She's excellent in everything. Oh, I don't think she likes this full though. All right, well, let's become good friends with her because I want her to stop being mean to the baby. I'm gonna hand feed her a strawberry. Oh, she liked the strawberry. She didn't like the strawberry. <laughs> I don't think she likes the strawberry. <gasps> Look at them. Oh, they're in love. That's so cute. Kenny just became good friends. Good. Let's tell her to be nice to the baby. Yeah, you go be nice to the baby. Why are you sad? What happened? Junebug has been cooped up for too long and feeling sad. Oh, never mind. She's no longer sad. She's very happy. That's like me on my little mental health walks. All right, they're uncomfortable about how poorly decorated the home is. I just realized that the walls don't really have like any, any wallpaper on them. I don't know why I just now noticed that. So we're gonna put some wallpaper on the indoors. If you guys are watching and you've been like painfully waiting for me to realize that there's no wallpaper, I'm sorry. <gasps> Look at the baby hopping. Did y'all see the baby hopping for a split second? Sped up, I think that's the funniest sound. Junebug is bursting with anticipation to meet her full. It's happening. Everyone calm down. Get off the horse. That's just a sweet thought. You know, like a human mama comforting a horse mama. <sighs> Give us a cute baby. <gasps> Finally, I can hear the I can hear the sound. I'm gonna guess it's a filly. So we can have a filly and a colt on the property. <gasps> it is a filly! Oh my god. Okay, 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 okay. Let's do read. Junebug and pie. How about juniper? <gasps> oh. 
bro magical body transformation look at the baby oh my gosh she has her little butt marking <laughs> does she have her face marking too let me see the baby oh <gasps> she has her little face marking discuss origins of the universe yes that's gonna be my first interaction with this filly the world is so pretty i love the water the water looks so clear i want to be here i want this but like irl please was Chestnut Ridge based on an IRL location? Can they like drop the location, please? We can get a ranch hand. I kind of want to get a ranch hand, you know, wink, wink. No, maybe Kennedy wants a ranch hand, you know. Orion Wilder. Oh my gosh. All right, let's check out Orion Wilder. Asked to join household. Yeah, like, you know, how's your day doing? Do you want to join my household? <laughs> like, imagine how that would sound. Let's ask if he's single. Oh, all right. Okay, he's single. I like how I asked the question and he was like, yeah, no. His hair. I kind of like his hair, but I kind of don't at the same time. It doesn't really scream like ranch hand. Would it be like, okay, if I wanted to criticize him and just like, boop, changed, you know? All right. Ooh, we got some good guy haircuts for this pack. I like that. This one gives me Edward Cullen vibes. I like the long hair too. I'm kind of digging the long hair. Before we get to the end of this, I want to go and compete in a show. Actually, let's go with Pi because Pi's had more experience than Junebug. Junebug, she's been a mama for a lot of this video. Are we able to spectate it? We don't even get to see like what placing they're in. Sienna Grove. Oh my gosh, Sienna Grove is so fine. <laughs> I love how they made the NPCs because they're so fine. <gasps> Nathaniel just said my name. <laughs> did you guys hear that you and your horse have shown great potential and have taken a second place spot from the competition it won't be long before you're able to beat out of the rest of the division for that first place position you can now participate in show jumping intermediate can i compete him a second time okay i can't compete him a second time as you've seen in this video we have grown the little ranch family by a lot we started with jess kennedy sadie and their horse junebug and now we have pie admiral and also juniper and maybe a little bit something something with a ranch hand who knows i'm hoping to continue this as a playthrough but who knows maybe i will continue doing it as live streams it depends but i'm gonna go ahead and end it here for this video let me know who your favorite member of this family is in the comments. And don't forget about Ba Nana and Ba Beautiful. You know, <laughs> those names still get me so bad. <laughs> Thanks guys for joining this video and let's move on to the giveaway details. So EA was very generous and gave me three giveaway codes for me to use and to give to you guys. And I will be giving away two of them via Instagram and one of them on my community Discord. I have tried YouTube giveaways in the past and they can get very tricky with no real ways to communicate, so check out those in the description. They all three will end August 8th, so be quick to enter if you'd like a chance at this newest expansion pack. Thank you EA once again for sponsoring this video, and I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day.